things down on your phones. Oh yeah, good idea. Smart. So, otherwise you'll hear two of me and nobody even wants to hear one of me. So we're gonna, we're gonna That's not true. Go with the flow. I think I'm, <laughs> hey guys, we are live. It is the TED show, but really this is the, the Celebration Gen TikTok show. Very excited to be learning about TikTok. I've got to let a few of you in, so bear with me. Uh, we have the one and only Jen Sharice from Celebration Title, Jody from Celebration Title, Luis from Celebration Title, and then we've got some guests coming on. Hi guys, hey, what's up? So hopefully nobody else is muted, uh, but we are live, officially live. So if you can look at the show, make sure you don't skip, and then let's share it. So hey guys, happy, af happy Wednesday afternoon. Happy Hello. Wednesday. Hello. Hey there. <laughs> So Super what excited is, to be with you today. Thanks for having us. Yes, thank you for everybody being on. And, you know, I'm only here as the guy who's got the cocktails in the background. So cheers if you are cocktailing right now. Cheers. Um, I need to get mine. You need to get yours. <laughs> and then, um, but Jen is the star and Celebration's the star. And, of course, TikTok's the star of this show. So I'm very excited to learn about it. I think I've said it a million times. My kids are really not happy about it. They're rolling their eyes. Uh, but <laughs> I think it'll be fun to at least learn the basics and nobody be afraid. Jen's not going to call on you and make you um, do a TikTok video right then and there. So welcome <laughs> again. And then Jen, I'm going to turn it over to you. Thank you. Awesome. Jen, awesome. For us. Well, thank you so much, Ted, for having me on the TED show live. And thank you for everyone for tuning in on this awesome Wednesday. So for those that don't know me, my name is Jen Sheree Simayoa. I'm one of the business development managers at Celebration Title Group. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on, jump on in. So let me go ahead and share my screen for you guys. Okay. Wait. And here we go. Let me just move the Zoom box real quick. Awesome. So since this is the TED show and we are on happy hour, I decided we're going to play a little drinking game. So if you have your cocktail or your mocktail, anytime you see the TikTok logo on any of my slides, uh, why don't we go ahead and just take a sip? Cheers to that. What a Cheers. great idea. <laughs> we have to have a little fun. And aside from that fun, we're uh, another fun, making sure you guys are tuning in. There is going to be a Amazon $25 gift card. So at the end of the presentation, I am going to ask a question. And um, I'm not sure, Ted, are you able to see the people on Facebook Live's comments as well? Yes, I'm keeping an eye on those. And I, let me speaker view you, okay? So I probably need to do that, right? Don't you want to be the um, person everybody sees or you just want people to see your beautiful screen? Um, I don't know if you can do the screen. Right now I can see the screen and myself at the top of the box. Perfect. That's um, do you want to change? Do you want to? Yeah, let's keep it. Let's have them focus on that. They can hear your voice, right? Okay, right. perfect. So, um, so again, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, if you do see that little TikTok symbol um, that I'm putting my mouse on, definitely take a sip. And we're going to teach you guys the basics of TikTok 101. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So what is TikTok and how can you market on it? So we're going to go through about what TikTok is today and how you can market with it. Uh, through real estate. So, so what is this app even for? So TikTok was actually launched in 2016 and the creators of TikToks, their company mission was the, to capture and present the world's creativity, knowledge, and precious life moments directly from the mobile phone. TikTok enables everyone to be a creator and encourages users to share their passion and create, and create uh, creative expressions through their videos. So uh, the creators of TikTok really just wanted to have another platform where, you know, all of us can be authentic and kind of really show who we are without having, you know, those, um, you know, those judgy eyes and people kind of critiquing you. Um, and it's a really fun app that you can kind of do an array of different things with music videos, voice overlays, pictures, dances, and you can dance. Even wise. <laughs> So TikTok has been downloaded over 1.5 billion times on the App Store and Google Play. So on this graph, you can see here that in the um, short amount of time that TikTok has launched, it has tremendously grown uh, with active users a lot faster than, you know, your typical Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram, and other social media platforms that took a lot longer for them to reach the amount of 
users that they have now. So that just shows you how quickly this social media platform has grown in just a short amount of time. <clears throat> so if you see the little TikTok symbol, I hope you guys TikTok! are doing <laughs> Oh yeah, there we go, TikTok. So, let, oh, my slide is, um, Hmm, I'm missing an image here, but TikTok is the most downloaded on the app and Apple store, uh, just like I mentioned. So this I really thought was very interesting. So people spend 52 minutes per day consuming content on TikTok. And there's 123.8 million Americans that have downloaded this app. So that just goes to show a lot of people are spending time on this platform. And to be honest, I think this probably has even gone up even higher since a lot of us have been on lockdown and you know been on our phones a lot more. Um, so I'm sure that number has increased. TikTok is also international. So it's available in 155 countries at the moment. So um, definitely growing, growing worldwide. So I always get this question and I think it's quite funny. Is TikTok only for young people? So I love to tell you all, it is not, even though 41% of TikTok users are between the age of 16 to 24. But recently, um, in less than 18 months, the numbers of US adults have grown on TikTok 5.5 5 .5 times. So um, as of March of last year, there was 14.3 million um, adult users on TikTok. So, Yes, your kids might be saying, please, mom and dad, don't get on TikTok. Well, I, I'm happy to tell you, parents and, you know, those that are just over the age of 18, you know, TikTok is for adults. They're, I love the hashtag moms of TikTok or dad, hashtag dads of TikTok. So a lot of adults are having fun on this platform. And, you know, it's so great to just have it for everyone. I mean, it's funny because, you know, Facebook is now kind of more geared towards the older generation and then uh, Instagram's kind of in the in between and then in, uh, TikTok was kind of for the younger what we call the uh, generation Z but you know as this t this uh, app becomes more famous you know a lot of more older generations are getting on and having fun um, so it's not just for your kids so get on the app even if they tell you not to so how can we monetize TikTok for real estate? So that, this is the other question I get all the time is, okay, TikTok. so I see all these videos, um, I, you know, what is it for? So I'm gonna kind of talk a little bit how you can have this app and kind of be proactive with a good call to action and kind of have it business related. And if you do see the TikTok symbol, make sure you take your sip. Um, so the average number of people that viewed TikTok was over 1 billion videos every day in the last year. So why is this important? You know, TikTok is still a great platform that doesn't charge for uh, advertisement. So since it is a newer app, that is so much organic engagement that you can reach out to. So I always say, do that 80 20 rule so 80 percent you know fun personal and 20 percent business so TikTok isn't really going to be a platform as of right now where you're going to be pushing a lot of um you know business advertisement but you can do some good call to action so you know showcasing a video of a home and just kind of having fun with it and i'll show an example at the end of this presentation kind of what i'm talking about but the key to this is since there is so much organic outreach you can use this platform to have people um, engage with you and then redirect them to your business, whether it's your business Instagram or business Facebook page. So what's really the key factor in this is when you are creating your TikTok, if you don't have one already, is trying to use your username or your handle that is the same as your Instagram name or what you use on your uh, Facebook page. So for example, let's say your Instagram name is um, Jen sells Orlando. Um, I'm going to want, I want to make sure that my TikTok name is going to be the same name as well. So that way it's easier for people to follow you. And when you do post a video or some kind of fun image on TikTok, you can have at the end of the video or picture saying, if you want to find out more, you know, click the link in my bio or go follow me on my Instagram or Facebook page. So that's, you know, those are the kind of the key things you want to think about, because again, with, 1 million people viewing TikTok every day, that's so much organic outreach that you could take advantage of and redirect people to 
your, your business pages. So kind of talking and just wanting to show you guys a little bit more about the engagement, you can see here, you know, compared to other social media platforms like Instagram and Twitter, for those who had over a thousand followers, TikTok had a 9.38% engagement rate as opposed to Instagram that had a 7.2%. And as you can see, uh, as the more followers you have, the engagement rate is a significantly higher than what Instagram and Twitter has. So again, just kind of, you know, showing you guys some statistics as to how powerful this app is right now and how you can really, if you use it properly, can really, you know, have it be another pillar to you know, reach out that sphere of influence or a certain target area that you're looking to get exposure to. So, you know, I always say consistency is key. So in order to keep, you know, these high ratios, you want to just, you don't want to just post one video a week. You want to at least be posting three times a week if you can, or if not, at least a video a day, preferably, you know, because the more that you're posting, the more you're going to be engaging with those um, people that are following you. Um, so that's another thing to just keep in mind. So I did have to kind of show the COVID-19 because with everything that's going on, and I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy, but those numbers that I just showed you, those are old stats before the outbreak. So just imagine how much more people are on this platform right now. I personally have even noticed a big change on my Instagram, people reposting their TikTok videos and then sharing that on Instagram. So I'm seeing a lot more TikTok videos and I'm sure probably a few of you have as well. So that just goes to show with us being in lockdown, a lot of people are on their phones more than ever. So this is a really great time to kind of dive in and learn more about this app and start creating some fun videos. Um, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to create a TikTok video. So this is what the home screen looks like if you guys never um, downloaded the app before. So this is um, what it's gonna look like. So you have at the bottom left-hand screen, your home screen, um, which is gonna just show you videos that you're following or videos that you put that you're interested in. Then you have the little magnifying glass, which is to discover. So this is where you can go ahead and search people, search hashtags. One thing that I really like about TikTok, it's very similar to Instagram and the aspect of how you can search hashtags and follow hashtags, just like you can on Instagram. So you can see in the post right here that she even utilized the hashtags. Um, just again, to outreach other people that are maybe following that hashtag already. So your video is going to go to all those people that are following you. Um, and then in the middle, you question, Jen? yeah, of course. So the hashtags just for us old folks, tell them a little bit about what a hashtag is, because I think a lot of people use the hashtag and then have absolutely, especially my age group, no idea why they're even using the hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. So the purpose of the hashtag is basically to get more out organic reach. So what I mean by that is when someone puts a hashtag in, let's say, for example, um, quarantine, right? When you are on this platform and even on Instagram as well as where this also comes into play. It, now, this only works if your profile is in public. So I do have to mention that because these hashtags are hashtags that are being followed by millions of people. So when your profile is on public and you have the hashtag of quarantine, your post that you posted is going to go organically and outreach someone that may not be following you, but is following that hashtag. So when they are scrolling on their newsfeed, they're going to see your post come up because they follow that hashtag. Um, or they may have liked multiple posts that have that hashtag in it. So what that means for you as the user is that you're going to be getting in front of people that may have not been following you before, and then it's going to organically have them follow you more. So the purpose of the hashtag is making sure you use at least minimum about five to 10, no more than 30. I think Instagram actually taps you out at 30 anyways. Um, so that way you can organically outreach more people that aren't following you and trying to engage them to come to your page and follow your page and like and engage with your post. Now, 
the key to this is, is you don't want to make up hashtags. So I know with Instagram and with TikTok, when you start typing in a hashtag, it will auto populate that hashtag that has already been created. And it will even tell you how many people are currently following that hashtag. And the reason why that's so important is because the key you want to reach outreach so many people that already follow it so if you're making up a new hashtag that doesn't have a following it's kind of pointless now i always say um you know it's a lot of hashtags to write is this is so much jen i mean who has time for all this so i always recommend you know coming up with those basic you know 10 hashtags that you can use for every post that are already you know follow it have a good following and then save it in the notes section in your phone that way, every time you're creating a new post, you don't have to rewrite every hashtag every single time. You can just go on the note section of your phone and copy and paste that. Now, I do wanna mention as well, um, you do wanna make sure that the hashtags are relevant to the post that you're posting. So if you are, let's say, posting a, a video or a picture and you're at the beach, right? You wanna make sure you include those hashtags of you know, beach time, you know, um, waves hashtag you know suns out guns out what you know what have you so making sure to you putting in hashtags <laughs> that are going to be relevant to the post as well <laughs> so that's um what kind of the hashtags are I mean, I, and if I there's any more questions let me know can i say something for the old people so think of it as if you are googling realtor orlando or real estate orlando wouldn't it be nice if everybody knew what you were Googling and you were able to drive it to your page just by putting those, those particular terms in? So think of it as people are, this is what young people use on these platforms to research those particular terms. So if you want Realtor Orlando or Real Estate Orlando or Homes Orlando, there's a hashtag out there and people follow it. So imagine as a, if you're Googling it, now all of a sudden everybody knows you're Googling it, you're involved and people are following that and they can follow you. So right. think of it as a way that people can research the younger crowd and actually do exactly. research and find you based on that hashtag. Exactly. So some other key uh, features that I wanna show you on the home screen. So you'll see at the top uh, a little bubble with the user's profile, that's gonna be your your um the person's videos profile page so if this is someone that you like and you like what they've been posting you can go ahead and click that plus sign and that's going to have you automatically follow that person and then right below it you're going to see the heart um very similar to instagram and facebook where you can like um that video or post and you can see how many people have liked it as well and then below that is your comment section where you can comment on the video and then you have this little arrow, which is a share button, and you can see how many people have shared the post as well. I really like the share button because um, you can share it onto, onto Instagram or through text or through any of those other um, shareable sites, which is nice because if you see a funny TikTok video, you can, I mean, I do this myself with the team, we'll share it with everybody and it can send them that link right away. Or let's say you're posting the video on TikTok, but you want to also share it to Instagram through your stories. You can easily do that with that share button, which makes it nice and seamless. So you don't have to go back to that other third party um, social media platform and re-upload the video. You can do it all in one app, which is really nice. And then below that, you'll see a circle um, with little music notes kind of popping out on the bottom right hand corner. So what that is, is the music that was used for this video. So what is really nice about this feature is if this is a video that you liked and you would like to recreate the video or do another video, but use that sound, you can click this button here and it will redirect you to another page that says use this sound. You'll click yes, and then it will have you on the creating page where you can create whatever video or, or um, you know, photo that you'd like with the sound. So it's really nice because you don't have to search sounds if you can, if you want, but if you want to just do, there's a lot of challenges on TikTok right now. So if you want to accept the challenge and do the dance off, you can use that song right then and there just by hitting the, um, the sound button on the right hand side and it'll redirect you to um, using that sound so you can get started on creating your video. So I have to I have to tell you that Josh Pennington just brought that up, Jen Charisse. He said, I mm -hmm. want to know if, Ted, if Ted's going to do the TikTok dance challenge. 
Um, is there anything else I can possibly do? Uh, I'd love to know <laughs> about the TikTok dance challenge. So obviously, yes, I will do it, but I have no rhythm at all. I'm gonna have to get Louis. You can do it, you can do it. Luis is gonna have to um, help me there. I don't know. Louis is gonna You have can to do it. So for <laughs> those that see all these great dance videos, you don't have to be a professional dancer to recreate them. And I'm gonna show you how you can still learn these dances in slow motion and be able to get the moves and then play it together on normal speed. Um, so this is something that I learned that is really great for the, cause so, I'm not gonna lie, some of these dances are pretty hard and I'm like, oh my goodness, do I need to go to a dance school? So I'm happy to tell you, you don't. And in, they do make it very easy for, for those to learn and, and do the dances even if we might have two left feet. So right here on, you'll see, you know, a 0 0.3, 0 0.51. So that's gonna be the speed of the video. Um, so this is where, let's say there is a song to a dance that you're learning. You can slow down the song, but when you hit play, it's gonna show it um, in normal speed. So for example, there was a video that I did and it had a lot of moves. So I, we were trying to learn the moves, but we were able to play the song at a slower speed so we can hit every move, um, you know, right. And that way when it, we were done, when we hit play, the sound went back to normal speed. So it looked like we did the dance at the same time as the song. So definitely a little pro tip for you guys that aren't, you know, as coordinated as, as many, um, there is hope. And then another thing that I like too, um, on the right side, you'll see um, a duet. So when you are, when, when you are, I'm gonna go back real quick. If the person, when you hit the arrow and you click that and it has the duet option, if they allowed for a duet video, you can also have that person's original video side on side of your video that you're recording. So you can learn the dance and do the dance with the person's original video, which is another great thing because it's always easier to learn a dance uh, while watching someone do it with you. So there's hope for you guys that aren't as dance um, coordinated. So some other features on here that is really great. You have your camera feature, you know, similar like Instagram. You'll have the speeds where you can speed up and down. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, there's some filters, you know, where you can put on all the nice, you know, color changes. There's also a timer and then, and then of course, flash. Now, um, there's also this upload button right here on the right hand. So let's say you're doing um, a, a collaboration of different snippets of videos or you want to add in an image in the middle of the video, you can go to your camera roll and you know, use old photos or videos that you may have already on your phone. So this is really good, especially since we are locked in our house and we can't have too many different you know, background scenes. If you wanted to bring in something or from an old photo or video that you've created before, um, this is a great way where you can get that from your camera roll already. And then you also have the another effects button here, which if you are familiar with TikTok and, you, and if you've seen kind of those different colors or the video kind of shaking where it kind of zooms in and out, um, that's another um, where you would find that as well. And you will record um, 15 to 60 second videos, um, just so you know. So once you get your video completed and you're ready to post it, um, this is what it's going to look like. Uh, you will go ahead and write what you'd like on the video and use those hashtags that we talked about earlier. And you'll also be able to tag friends just like how you can on Instagram, which is really nice. Um, as you can see this video that I took a screenshot of, uh, we had some other people in the video. So we tagged them in there as well. And you can also pick the cover photo in the video. So let's say you don't want to use, you know, the, the first photo that shows up, you want to use one a little bit down the line of the video, you can do that through here. And then you can also have it as public or private on who you want to see it. And you can check mark the boxes of if you want to allow comments, if you want to allow the duets and the reactions, and then also have it saved to your phone. Um, and on this page, you, on the bottom left, you can see where you can share it on other platforms as well. So once you post this video, you can have it be posted on those other third party social media platforms at the same time. Now let's say you make a video and you aren't 100% sure yet if you really wanna post it. 
So I'm happy to tell you, if you're not 100% sure, maybe you want to go back and kind of edit it, there's a drafts option right here where you can have the video be stored. So if you don't have to post it yet, but you don't have to worry about deleting it and redoing the whole thing over again, you can go ahead and hit the drafts um, button and I'll save it for you there and no one else will see it but you. So I also like to notate, for example, you, um, you may see some videos on TikTok that show from morning to night. Well, I'm happy to tell you people aren't leaving their phones out the whole day. <laughs> How they're doing this is, is they're showing a snippet of you know, the first morning part, then they'll save it to drafts. And then once the sunset comes, they'll bring their phone back out and they'll show, um, then they'll record the sunset going down and collaborate all the whole video together, add their effects, and then it looks like one seamless video. Um, so that's another great way to utilize the drafts option as well. And once you're all, um, you have your posts written up and your hashtags and all the edits, then you'll go ahead and hit post. So that's kind of the basics of how to go ahead and utilize TikTok and upload a photo or video. Um, so those are just a, a key uh, couple steps. Do we have any questions so far, Ted? You said TikTok, guys. TikTok. <laughs> I've, been for her to, I've been waiting for Jen Street to say TikTok for a very long time. Um, TikTok, you know, TikTok. Lots, <laughs> lots of people that want us to dance. They want to know why, you know, there's lots of comments about why aren't you singing? Uh, we're not singing right now. Um, this is to get you to understand TikTok. I think yes. one of the things I have, I have a question for about is mm -hmm. when you do the TikTok video and remember I just have an account guys I'm asking this because I really don't know are you shooting it like you have a camera set up somewhere like this like I used to do my shows on a camera stand or are people holding it out like they're they used to do selfies before none of us got <laughs> bathed or our nails done or our hair did um, <laughs> what what are people do how are people doing the actual video so I know uh, what we've done is we'll have someone if there if you do have someone that can hold the camera for you and hit play, um, I utilize that. There is a timer as well, so if you can position the camera to hold and you kind of get in place and hit that timer to start recording, that's another great option if you're by yourself. Or I mean, a lot of people I, I know I myself have ordered a zoom light, uh, a, I mean a ring light by now. I said zoom light, but it's because I'm using it for zooms. <laughs> I've ordered a ring light. So if you do have um, a, a little extra funds, they're not expensive. You can get them on Amazon if you don't have one already. And what's really great about the ring lights is it has the perfect lighting. You can set it up um, on there and put your camera and you can shoot the video by yourself, uh, which is really nice. So if you do have those funds, you can get them on Amazon. I think there's some cheap ones for like 30 or 40, 50 bucks. 30 bucks, guys. I mean, they're a little yeah. bit on back order right now, believe it or not. Everybody mm -hmm. has decided they need a ring light, which is yes. <laughs> so mine is on order and um, it's coming in May first ish. But the yes. zoom light is everything. Amanda says she's right. I'm zoom light. Let me ask you about the music. <laughs> we had questions about the music. So the yes. songs that people use from that music option, those mm -hmm. are already pre-approved. Nobody has to worry about copyright. Um, exactly. 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 So what's really nice is the app already went ahead. They've actually partnered. You, I don't know if some of you are familiar with a, an, a third party app called Music Musically. So TikTok actually partnered up with that app. And so all the music is already approved. You don't have to worry about using a sound and then later down the road it gets taken down because of copyright. So that is also really nice. And you don't necessarily always have to use that music. You can even create your own music if you want. And what's cool is if you did make a really cool sound or kind of voice overlay uh, and you allow people to use that sound, they can use it as well, which is really fun. So what I'm gonna do now, um, actually before I show you some example videos, this is Ted and, and Celebration Title Groups. Um, Instagram hand or not Instagram TikTok handle. Uh, if you guys like to follow us, one other key uh, tip I want to share: whenever you create your your TikTok handle, um, it will let you know before you accept it to save the 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 edits that it's all it's going to stay for thirty days. So. Um, unfortunately, one of our team members made a, t a TikTok account without us knowing it. So that's why it's not celebration title group, it's celebration title G. Um, and we can't change it until 30 days. 
I mean, I think we're almost coming up to it, so we might be able to change it soon. So that's another thing to kind of keep in mind when you are creating your TikTok handles. Um, it's going to stay the same for at least 30 days before you can change it. So just remember that when you are creating Mine's the, actually the, just at the TED show. Yep, right here. I'm at the TED show. No, just, so, at, wish, just at the TED show. Oh, it's just I at the TED be, show? I want you to be at the TED show, but it's just at the TED show. Okay, okay, perfect. So um, make sure you see that. Okay, so I'm gonna share my other screen. Let's see. Go ahead and share that with you guys. Um, can you see um, the hashtag realtor, yes. Ted? Yes. Okay, perfect. So um, again, going back to utilizing those hashtags, you can see here the hashtag realtor has over 100.1 million views. So really making sure you utilize these hashtags um, because they are really great to getting that organic reach. So I'm just gonna kind of show you guys an example. So TikTok does have a, de a desktop um, website that you can use, but it's very limited. You can't create any videos or anything like that. Um, so it's really just kind of some overview information about the app and just example videos. So, um, this is one video that I thought was really fun. <laughs> Were you able to hear the sound on that? I couldn't hear the sound, but I saw the words. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me see if I can bring it over. But here. I like how she did, how she created the, as she spoke, the different bubbles for lack of a better word. Yeah, so if you couldn't hear it, it was basically just showing, um, it was a, one of the famous TikTok songs, I like to say, um, that she was dancing to. So it's super easy, you know, and you can add the little bubbles with the words and you can add little um, other stickers as well. So you can have fun with it. Let me see if you guys can hear this one. Sort of. Can you guys hear that or no? No. But a little, I could hear uh, him talk a little bit. Okay, let me see if I raise the volume on my end. Okay, let me know if you can hear it now. Not yet. Are you able to, uh, uh, I don't know when why you, you can't hear share, the sound. When you go to screen share, you just have to click on where it says share sound as well. Oh. Okay, let me see. Audio video. Do I need to do that uh, for you or do, can you do no, that? No, you can do it. So I'm on, do I do new share or? Mm, I don't see that option. I don't either, but if I could, I would. Oh, I see it, share computer sound. Okay, okay, I figured it out. So I'm gonna show this one more time. Oh, So were you guys able to hear the sound that time? Yes, definitely. So here's another one that's awesome. You can check it out, but it's a lot further from downtown than we were hoping. Oh, honey, you could do so much grilling out here. I don't know if there's enough yard space, though. I don't know. We were really looking for an open concept. Open concept. I, don't know in this one, huh? I know, I know. It's a little over budget, but I think you two will really like this one. Okay, this checks a lot of boxes. Now that's what I'm talking about. 75 inch goes right there. We can check it out. So, um, you know, you don't have to get all dolled up. You don't have to have the perfect lighting. I mean, it, what's really, really great about this platform is you can be authentically you and just have fun with it. And that's really the kind of point of why TikTok was created, as I mentioned on that very first slide um, when I read the mission statement is, you know, just to be organically you and just kind of following that rule with all the social media platforms, which is that 80-20 rule, like I mentioned before, you know, 80% personal and fun and 20% business. And you can see that, you know, he utilized the hashtags very well and had over 81,000 likes and 312 comments. And it was just a replica making fun of kind of HGTV because um, HGTV makes real estate look so easy as, but we all know it's not. <laughs> Um, so you can really just have a lot of fun and, you know, just go on there. I encourage you guys just to go on and see all these different videos that people have and kind of what they're doing on here. Um, you know, there's some really fun ones. This guy's really fun. <laughs> My 
heart went. So, you know, there's so many different ideas in here that you can do and just kind of have fun. There's one. Uh, can I ask you a question? So do you, so the, I think people would, I've seen a couple of questions on it, so I'm going to ask it. Um, do you use TikTok to kind of drive people to other platforms or like, are you trying to drive them to your website, to your Facebook page, to your Instagram, or are you yes. just trying to drive, like, what are, what are we using it for since it's a short 60 second or 15 second video? I think people want to know, okay, so what am I, what's the ultimate uh, goal here? Exactly. So um, basically TikTok is an engagement platform where you can redirect people to your business Instagram page or your business Facebook page or your website. So what TikTok is really for is just to kind of create that organic outreach. Um, Cause again, you aren't having to pay, you know, to do these ads um, like you do on Instagram or Facebook. So it's a great platform to out outreach people organically and really build that sphere of, of influence. Um, I'm trying to find this video, but I can't find it right now. There's one agent actually here in Central Florida called the Milo Group, and he has over 45,000 followers. So just think about that. 45,000 people that are following his TikTok videos and engaging with him. I mean, I am can almost bet there's probably you know at least one, if not more. I mean, I definitely think with those numbers, at least you know one or more people that have, you know, definitely reached out. I mean, I've read some of his comments that, you know, wanting, hey, where can I find out more information about this house? Um, you know, and then he obviously in the private chat can redirect them to, you know, his business page or his website. So that's really the key of TikTok is not so much to really kind of, you know, you really uh, throw up your business on here. It's really to kind of show who you are because at the end of the day, people want to work with who they know, like, and trust, right? So this is just a great platform to kind of show about who you are. And then of course, you know, putting in, you know, those things about, hey, I'm a realtor. This is the area I market in. Um, like there's a good video. I think it might be this one that uh, shows the house. But when you go on the platform, you'll be able to see people engaging like, oh, how much is that house? Where is that house located? Where can I find more information? So it's more of a, a platform where you can set up that call to action and redirect them to your business site. So um, I definitely would not, you know, you not not use this platform because it's a great way. Again, there's over 1 billion people on this platform right now and one and 123 million Americans on this platform. And, and also just remembering to be strategic when on here, because as I mentioned, 41% of the users are about around the age of 16 to 24. I mean, we have seen over the last two years, you know, a lot more adults over the age of 18 on the platform. So, you know, when you are kind of posting things on here, like you know, we know Facebook is more of the older generation of the people that are more likely to sell. So using those ads and those posts kind of directed towards that future home seller where, you know, TikTok and kind of Instagram because of the age demographic is going to be more of your future home buyers, right? So kind of being strategic on what you're posting and kind of directed towards, you know, a, a buyer's type of ad. Um, so, you know, you can definitely use this if you use it smart and consistent, you know, definitely get some traction out of it organically. And at the end of the day, I always say, um, you know, just post consistently, show who you are, you know, show that, you know, you are in real estate and you service different areas, you know, things like You're and, and then your video, don't be scared of the camera because your video is always going to outperform someone else's non-existent video. And yeah. this is true for all social media platform. So if that's one key takeaway that you have from today, making sure that you just post a video, don't look at it, don't say, oh, my hair doesn't look good. Or, you know, oh, I didn't like how it came out, the lighting. Who cares? Because your organic, authentic video is always going to outperform someone's non-existent video. So if that's, you know, the nugget of the day, I hope you guys wrote that one down because that is, you know, true for, you know, all videos. And 
everybody's on their phones right now. I mean, I'm loving seeing a lot of people that weren't on TikTok before and they are now and sharing their videos. I love seeing it. So thank you guys to all my agents that are on TikTok already. I love the videos. Keep it up. Um, and I can't wait to see more of uh, uh, videos that you guys, if you don't have it already, uh, to come out soon. So if there, is there any more questions, Ted, before I uh, do the wrap up? No, not specifically, but I know there's a lot of comments which we'll all address later once we can actually look at this. I was trying to keep track, listen to the music and uh, keep on point. So tell us what, uh, and I must have, I'm the only one I think that drank every time you said TikTok. So it's, time <laughs> for my, it's almost time for my nap. Oh, good, there we go. Um, <laughs> uh, so tell us about, we have course questions about the $25 Amazon oh. gift card. Yes. So um, uh, we're thank you guys for all tuning in. We really appreciate you taking your time this You're Wednesday amazing. evening. I have to say before, I, before everybody shuts down, I want to tell you that was awesome. Now I, I get it more than I got it before. And I think that people just need to not be afraid of this new platform. I mean, you guys are all natural hands. We know you. We've seen you at events. We've seen you at the bar. Come on, you can do this and you can do a great job uh, and direct people to the places that you want them to go to. So why not take a 60 second video and they make it so easy or even a 15 second one. Like Gentry said, uh, any video is better than no video. You got to take that away. So I'll let her, I'll let her finish up. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you again, Ted. So for those that were on the whole time, thank you. We're going to do the uh, e-Amazon gift card, uh, $25 Amazon gift card. So I'm going to ask a question and Ted, you're going to have to help me on this to see okay. who comments first with the right answer. Okay. So um, I hope you guys were paying attention. So the question is how many um, um, you Americans are on TikTok? All right, guys, how many Americans are on TikTok? I'm watching the flow. Yes, I know you know, Lewis. I do too. It's really hard. Uh, but I want uh, somebody to answer that. I'm paying attention. Uh, so how many, jo uh, not Jody, Jen Charisse went over that a thousand times and I'm very glad that she did. I almost gave it away. It's not a thousand, just so you know. It's much more than that. So how many people are on um, Americans are on watching or doing or participating in TikTok. So I don't see any answers yet. We are um, we've got a very shy. Oh, <laughs> Luis Sanchez says a lot. That is very nice. Luis Sanchez. I know that's not you, um, but uh, I appreciate that very much. One billion Christopher Nutt wins it, right? Isn't it 1 billion the answer? Awesome, awesome, yes. So yeah. uh, if you can go ahead and uh, direct message his email to either you or I, Ted, um, and that way I can go ahead and send that over to him. So just direct, if he's on the Facebook Live or I'm not sure if he's on the Zoom. Um, he's on the Facebook Live. Okay, perfect. So um, I'm sure my name's tagged on here, Christopher. So go ahead and send me a direct message with your email and I'd be happy to email you that E25 Amazon gift card. So thank you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, Ted, for having us in Celebration Title Group on here. You know, this, you know, we really appreciate you guys learning about the basics of TikTok 101 and what this app is even about. So stay tuned for a TikTok 102 version as we go in and kind of dive in a little bit more about how to create the app or the videos and all that. So if there isn't any more questions, um, I really grateful Ted again for, you know, having us on here. Everybody, I hope you're staying safe, healthy, and still have your sanity as we're on what, what is this week four or five of I lockdown? I, I don't even lost know count. I think it's, I think it's <laughs> three. <laughs> Listen, I want to give a shout out to Celebration Title for doing these creative shows, for doing these creative um, Zooms. If you haven't looked up their webpage or on Facebook, you can see it's not just this. They were kind enough to be uh, cooperative and scheduled this when it wasn't on their schedule. So thank you so much for that. But they have so many ways for you to keep engaged and keep in touch yes. and promote yourself during the quarantine. So please reach out to Jen Charisse, Jody, Lewis. I mean, everybody at Celebration will help you out. Uh, but thank you so much for coming on. I learned a ton. And I drank a ton. So thank you <laughs> for, 
four thousand times. I need a nap. Uh, but big <laughs> shout out to you. Thank you for taking time. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Follow up with Jen Charisse, Jody Lewis. Follow up with Celebration Title. Those guys are amazing. All right. Have a great one. We'll see you Thanks, back. Thanks, Bye. 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 Bye.